Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've got a flip through of this adorable book, Pop Manga, Cute and Creepy by Camilla Derrico. I know I'm a little late to the party and a lot of people have this already, but I did want to um, post my own flip through and uh, just show this on my channel because this book is just so cute. It's adorable. I know that she's got other books uh, as well, but this is the, um, the, I guess it's the Halloween one. I don't know if it was done specifically for Halloween, but it's cute and creepy and it is absolutely adorable. As I've mentioned, I don't really do the horror thing. So this is definitely more uh, of what I like and what I prefer to to color and then to have. So it's, it's just the cutest. I just wanted to share. Um, this did just arrive yesterday and was it yesterday, I think. And so I haven't had time to really have a look, but... Um, it's the paper is nice uh it's a bit smooth so i don't know if all mediums are going to work all colored pencils um would of course you've got to kind of be careful with um using alcohol markers because they would bleed through water-based i'm sure would be fine if well depending i guess you'd have to kind of check that too because some of those do tend to bleed through as well but oh it's just so cute and um, yeah, I, I love that it's a lot of them are, are quite centered and not necessarily filling the whole page. So this is certainly one that I hope to use um, colored pencils with, uh, probably watercolor pencils, maybe the Albrecht Durer ones, uh, just to see how they go. I, I think they would go down nice. <laughs> it's so sweet. <laughs> Yes, there is a creepy element, but they're absolutely adorable. Look at this little guy. Just so cute. So, so cute. Um, look at that. <laughs> I do, I do enjoy her art style. I can see why this book was so popular, as are all her other books I've noticed as well, which I have not checked out, but in okay, case see, I don't like spiders, but that's cute. That's adorable. <laughs> cutest little spider <laughs> it's just really sweet is that like a Frankenstein bee I think it is oh my god yeah their faces are just they're so sweet um I love them <laughs> it is really really nice paper I do I do appreciate that I know that a lot of the um a lot of us do have the Amazon uh, printed create space paper and I know that that is thin and not very forgiving with all types of mediums so it is nice to have something a bit heavier um, where you can experiment more with different kinds of you know mediums and um, of course as I mentioned the alcohol markers are not I mean unless you're willing to to let go of you know the other page which not because they're all so cute <laughs> but again I thought that this would be a great way to get me to really um, utilize other mediums that I wouldn't necessarily gravitate towards because alcohol markers I find to just be something quick and easy and um, mindless oh my god look at that so I thought this would be a wonderful way to try I can see that you know the backgrounds would be wonderful with I, know, I might try some of the neo colors on the background and see how that works but they are just so cute <laughs> oh. just adorable I mean no regrets <laughs> with this one no regrets <laughs> so sweet Even notice how many um, pages in here. Oh, 70 plus pages, so that's wonderful. It's a lot to choose from. Um, I had to have this, well, they ordered this on Amazon uh, Germany and they sent it over i noticed from the receipt from the uk so it didn't it didn't take too long but it didn't it wasn't quick either let's just put it that way so it did take some time to get here 
because I just, I couldn't, I couldn't easily access it. And I know that's the case for a lot of people uh, living in different places or maybe living outside North America. So, um, but it was available. I was able to find it. So, gosh. <laughs> and the flies. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, um, it is pretty funny. Oh gosh, that's that, um, it's the Japanese horror story, isn't it, of the lady with the smile. You can look that up. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty gruesome, but yet yeah, she's cute, so <laughs> it's the theme. Oh, there's that other, um. I don't know if it was also a Japanese story or not. The one where you're looking into the TV screen. God, I can't remember it. See, I'm bad with these things because I don't watch them because I won't sleep for a week if I did. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. I love her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's just adorable. It's a wonderful variety of different was that our little medusa different stories from different myths and cultures and and i appreciate that a lot it is so pretty some are more complicated than others and and that's nice you do have a wonderful um set of images to choose from depending on what you like and what your preference is I noticed a few double page spreads as well so that's that's always fun that's always a challenge but I do look forward to uh, getting into this one because it is it is really really sweet I do I do love it I it's something that will definitely go beyond um the spooky season for me but yes that was just a quick flip through first impressions of the pop manga cute and creepy by camilla derrico absolutely adorable i do recommend it if you don't have it um it's a square yeah it is a square and it is quite heavy duty actually because the paper is really beautiful so um it was yeah I'm so glad i was able to get this and i look forward to uh working in this and seeing how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.